The Alberta government is tossing around even more of your hard-earned cash to sell their really bad ideas. Now, the government has already spent $9 million to advertise their climate leadership plan. Everywhere in Alberta might accidentally be minding their own business, like when we're at the movie theater or reading the newspaper or sitting at our computers, and it hasn't worked. At least two-thirds of Albertans still can't stand the carbon tax. Think about this. The NDP spent $9 million bucks trying to convince us that higher food, gas, electricity, and home heating bills are a good idea. When 200,000 Albertans are out of work, you couldn't make this stuff up if you tried. And since Albertans still can't stand the carbon tax, the government has a new plan. $600,000 for something the government calls scientifically based climate change education in the classroom. You see, the grown-ups just aren't being brainwashed fast or well enough. So the NDP are going around them and they're headed straight for the children. Because as Environment Minister Shannon Phillips says, when we know better, we do better. You see, according to Phillips, you people just aren't getting it. You don't know any better. You must be ignorant if you don't think that taxes change the weather. So the NDP are going to educate your kids by contracting out that education to NDP linked groups. So what are these groups possibly going to educate my children about? Are they going to tell my children that the sea ice just won't go away and those pesky polar bears just won't drown, no matter how many of Al Gore's predictions to the contrary? Are they going to tell my Catholic educated children, just like the Sierra Club just did on the Tucker Carlson show, that abortion is good for the earth? Are they going to tell my children that David Suzuki wants to put mommy and daddy in jail because while we agree that the climate is always changing, we question the amount of impact humans are having on it. Are these groups going to tell my children that it's okay to alter and change scientific climate data for political reasons so that governments can use that altered data to justify a carbon tax like the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration just did? Are they going to tell my children that paying a tithe to the government changes the weather because when you say it that way it sounds a lot more like religion than anything scientifically based. This isn't $600,000 to fund scientific education. Funding science education sounds like a good idea. If it were actually about science, this is $600,000 to create future NDP voters in spite of the wishes of Alberta parents. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreed. To learn more about the radicals in the NDP government, go to thedestroyers.ca and get my book today.